Hello iPad users, doing a quick product demonstration on a new product that was just released by Wacom, W-A-C-O-M dot com, um, Bamboo Stylus for iPad. Wacom is a uh, digital stylus digitizer pad um, manufacturer. They've been in the industry for the digital um, production arena for a long time. This is their bread and butter product line. This is not a company that makes all sorts of different accessories for iPads or for iPhones. Um, they are completely focused on the uh, digital artist and they know their needs. They've known them for many years and so without further ado let's open this bad boy up. It just came out. Just got it from Amazon for 29 bucks plus a little shipping. Uh, cardboard box, a little uh, paper instruction manual, and the guy we've been waiting for. At first uh, grab of this, it uh, looks a little bit small compared to a standard pen or highlighter, but um, the weight is good. The dark color here has a matted finish. Is that uh, close in texture to a um, piece of chalk without the chalk dust? The nub is what I would refer to, they call it a nib or a nub, is um, that of a blister uh, tip is what I call it because it's kind of hard to see on the video maybe but it actually has, feels like a blister, a soft blister. How long that's going to last I'm not sure but we'll find out. Um, there's an option with the clip. If you do not like the clip you can unscrew the end of it and take the clip off and that is actually in the instructions that is per the design and it says bamboo on it, nice aluminum there. Um, this is the iPad 2 in the background here that we're going to play on real quick for a demo. It does have Ghost Armor screen protection over it and it has the um, OtterBox Defender case on it around it and that's the uh, what's holding it up right now. It works rather well. I didn't have my hand in a way I could see what I was doing here. But at any rate, real quickly here, we'll just go for a quick demonstration. It does slide across the screen really easily. The cool thing about the what I'm going to refer to as the blister tip is that when you go to poke on the screen, it doesn't feel like you're hitting it with an ice pick. It kind of absorbs some of the shock. So if you're in there trying to punch some numbers in quickly, for example, if we brought up um, my quick office and I have an Excel sheet here, I can very easily... And I don't know how well this is translating over the uh, video, but trust me, it is actually doing a pretty good job on that small stuff. We can close that application. We do not want to save that. That was just a demonstration, but if we go back to, for example, pages, we can flick through a document rather easily. It's pretty smooth. You can get on there and change the size of stuff, text, that's another quick typing. Let's see, let's insert some typing. D-H-I-S is a T-E-S-T. -T. This is a test. We can undo that. We can hold down and highlight stuff. So it's pretty cool so far. The other thing I just wanted to point out with this that's kind of interesting about this that I was really curious about is, um, as you know, an inductive screen on the iPad, electrostatic, uh, um, the human hand is what makes it work, uh, the finger. But if you were to use a piece of foam, you can't get it to do anything. If you wear rubber gloves, I've noticed it'll actually work. It'll, uh, through the, the inductive or the electrostatic properties of your fingers will go through a rubber glove. But if you are in an environment that you, um, if you're in an environment that uh, is dirty and you have to wear uh, hard gloves and you want to use this iPad, it's useless. But with this stylus somehow, you're able, and it's actually typing right now. Um, kind of hard to see on the video probably, but if I highlight that, you can see that it is highlighting, believe it or not. Um, Wacom actually claims that this is the smallest nub point, nib point, excuse me, in the, in the market for the iPad stylus. I believe that that's probably accurate. And the other thing that's really interesting is that uh, I have confirmed that it works perfectly fine on the iPad, or the iPhone 4. I4, you can go through and I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here even, but I could 
push on those and it actually pushes the size of this goes right on the buttons real well so there it is it works the glove on it's uh, pretty handy the only thing I might suggest is that um, you put it into if you're going to leave it in a handbag or a backpack that you might find a slip cover for it you could easily make a slip cover out of some you can get a regular pin cover um, maybe out of leather or a plastic cap of some sort from another um, pen type device it might uh, help protect that nib but they do say that you can uh, at some point I believe they're going to sell spare nibs that's the other thing I wanted to point out and by changing the nib you unscrew the aluminum housing there and it's basically just like rubber with something inside of it that allows it to work with the screen um, I mean in the properties of this rubber there's nothing hard in there but it just slips over the top of that metal piece there nothing plastic in there is ever going to break that I can see so it should be durable for a long period of time it screws on there you just give it a little snug and you're good to go um, the weight of it's really nice and so I'm excited to see how long it lasts for 29 bucks for an uh, iPad accessory um, especially I think the, the benefit is if you need to use your iPad and you're in a cold environment and you want to wear your snow gloves you can still do this if you're um, in any type of environment you don't have to be in an industrial environment but if you're just sitting out waiting for the bus and you're in a metropolitan area and you ride the bus or the subway a lot and you, you know you're in some colder parts of the country this might be an answer for you you can still do your web browsing and poke around do some emails so hopefully that uh, gave you some more information about this device and uh, thanks a lot for watching uh, you can go down in the show notes for um, a link to Wacom and you can also find this on Amazon I just got it this week it was just released and they did mention in another video that they're looking at doing some type of um, I think they call it bamboo um, some type of bamboo application bamboo notes or something they're just gonna make a thing you can do um, jot down you can actually draw pictures and stuff and I don't know if they'll charge for that or not but you'll have to contact them or wait to see if they release that there's other drawing applications for the iPad available if you're an artist you already probably have